Um, Kat Napolitano and I go way, way, way back, way back. Um, probably to one of my first, no, maybe my like second or third gigs in, in LA. Yeah. Um, yeah, this, I think this was back in like 2001. We I should know. stop counting. I know. It was really <laughs> um, but I, she hired me to be in this, um, New Year's Eve spectacular, like something I've never seen. And it's so crazy because I'm from Las Vegas and I've never been a part of anything that you guys right. put together. So yeah. she is a, an event coordinator, production master on one hand, and then a dancer, a fitness instructor, a motivational guru on the other side. And she has a husband who's talented and a, a daughter who's amazing. So you've got it all kind of like in three buckets, which is great. I'm um, very fortunate. Yeah, and I wanted to, I, I haven't really been following everything that you've been doing, but I just noticed you have a whole new stream of consciousness going on. And I think that everyone needs to hear exactly what it's called. It's Love Size Me. Love Size Me. Yeah. And what exactly, what exactly is it and what are you doing exactly? You know, it's so funny because back a bazillion years before I even met you, I've mm -hmm. always started in the industry as a dancer. Mm -hmm. So that's where I started. Um, I remember your Miami grooves. Yes, well, mm -hmm. um, Miami Heat. I used to choreograph yeah. the Miami Heat dancers mm -hmm. and um, all kinds of fun stuff. Yeah. And then Corey moved out to LA and choreographed out here. And that's kind of how I got into it. And mm -hmm. during that entire time, I've always been in fitness as well. Mm -hmm. So um, I've always taught fitness and I have appeared in over about 40 or 50 fitness videos mm -hmm. over in my lifetime in the background mm -hmm. and have my own fitness company for a long time. And this has always run parallel along with our incredible company called Infinity Creative, mm -hmm. which is our event production company. Right. So, um, and it's always been a passion of mine. I've never let go of it. And it kind of morphed recently into really, as I got older, a better understanding of the importance of self-confidence and self-love mm -hmm. through self-care, like mm -hmm. um, taking care of nutrition and health and fitness and all of that. And that has always been a part of my platform mm -hmm. and it's just growing. And right now, obviously it's growing exponentially because of everything that is unfortunately happening. Um, so it's been interesting to dive into that a little bit more as we wait for events to come back. Um, I'm still anxiously waiting events because I love them more than anything. But ironically, people who are event producers, are the worst at taking care of themselves because it is in one of the top seven most stressful jobs yeah. um, almost every year. It makes the top 10 list. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, we are putting ourselves at the bottom of the totem pole and burning candles at both ends. So um, right. I feel like it's really, um, it's, it's kind of the silver lining for me in my COVID story in terms of being able to reignite that and share it. So it's been yeah. amazing. Well, you have a positive outlook on everything. So I, and, and I have to tell you everything that I've ever worked on with you or seen you do has been so detail oriented that I just, I like, I wonder what your calendar looks like because <laughs> I don't know if you're a post-it note person or if you're like, I write everything down or it's in I'm a list book. girl. I love lists. List. Okay. I love lists. Yeah. Yeah. I may not Let's... always check them off, but I do make a lot of lists. <laughs> yeah. Well, and I, I, I value that. A lot of people don't understand it, but I totally do. Um, with the shift in online, do you feel yourself connecting with, you know, your students or your clients or, or just a new audience um, in this different platform? And what are you using to do that? Is it just mainly Instagram or are you trying to get on different, like a Zoom or are you, what are, where are you? So actually Zoom has been um, a revelation, I think for so many people and, you know, um, I do really believe that we will never, ever go back. I don't, you know, people talk about new normal and that's true. I don't think we will ever, ever go back to the way it was even doing business. Mm -hmm. And, you know, to be honest, in terms of my client contacts, mm -hmm. it's been a much more intimate experience because, um, you know, a lot of people, I, I did not try to reach out and do business with my clients. We are all in this um, horrible hurricane of trying to figure it out. Um, so, and I'm talking about my event side right now. Mm 
Mm -hmm. But what I did do was reach out personally mm -hmm. um, in a personal way to check in with my clients, to make sure that they were okay, mm -hmm. um, and to let them know that we were going to get through this. And we did it through Zoom. And so it, it wasn't just talking about an event, right? Mm -hmm. It was really about um, a deeper emotional connect. And so there was this new level of friendship that has come out of my client relationships, which has been amazing. And then, of course, um, you know, it's so funny. I reconnected with my college friends. And right. we did a Zoom, and I'm like, why haven't we done this for 15 years? You know, this is crazy. Yeah. To be able to reconnect and see people has been incredible. Um, and just the need for content right now. People are devouring content. I yeah. mean, there was a great meme that went away that said, Dear Net Netflix, I'm done. You know, they finished yeah. all of the uh, programming. So, <laughs> you know, I think people have an opportunity to um, – use all of the technology right now mm -hmm. in a powerful way. And we saw that with everything that happened with Black Lives Matter. Mm -hmm. I feel like that um, platform had a much stronger ability because of a couple reasons. A, the accessibility of technology was not available only to people who had money, right? Everyone has a phone. People were able to speak up and you know, people had time to focus. Um, so I think it really gave some power to that. So I feel like, you know, uh, if there's ever a time for us to look at to technology in a positive way, I really think that we are seeing it very clearly in this time right now. And I think we, I hope that we will continue to utilize it in that way. Yeah. yeah. Well, what do you, what do you foresee as far as like your, your events will, I mean, events will come back and people they will be in person again, but for those people that you've connected with, for the love size me um, portion of your business, are you going to continue to work with them online? Are you going to be maybe creating workshops and, and guest speaking stuff? You know, just so yeah. I mean, cool? for sure, my yeah. the next steps for my platform for sure. You know, so I'm a beach body coach, and that's what we do. And we connect. Um, there's two things I do in my groups, which I love. First of all, well, actually three. So I do a one on one. Um, and it's very different than a phone call, right? It's very different than an email and getting that information. And especially with the Love Size Me platform, because it is about physical, physical fitness and nutrition and health. Um, that's emotional, period. You know, um, especially as women, which I really, you know, is the majority of my group. It is, it, you know, eating is emotional. Losing weight is emotional. Body concept is emotional. So to be able to connect on them, it's often, it's crying, you know, during these emotional outpourings where I'm lifting them back up and getting them back up on their feet and, and reconnecting with their, their purpose and their life of self-love. Yeah. So that is really a, a great connect that I do through Zoom. And then, um, you know, as my platform's growing, yes, I'm very excited to be putting out um, new webinars that are coming out. Um, so I'm very excited about that. Um, and that's all about self-confidence building. Yeah. Um, you know, especially in this day and age, it's kind of uh, a slippery slope. <laughs> right. And, well, you know, it's going through something. Mm -hmm. And the face that we have on Instagram versus the reality. Right. And then, you know, yeah. so, you know, we can have a stressful day um, and people think you're you're not authentic, but I can come on and still be happy and still be having a stressful day. Mm -hmm. But to get to the root of self-confidence and self-love, we need to dig so much deeper than that. So the, my webinars will definitely be about that for sure. Yeah. Well, I just remember, and this is, this is something about Kat that you will see if you're ever with her in person or online, just having that chat is she will get you to do exactly what you need to do <laughs> one way or another. And I feel like you have, you have levels of, and ways of communicating so that you know how to get to the best out of people, you know? So, and that's one thing that I always, always treasured about you is that number one, you got me to the gig. And number two, whenever people are slacking, you pull them back. Level together. up. And Level whenever up. people need that extra something, you're right there for them. And I, you have this like really keen sense about people of what every individual needs, which is not always the same. No. So. 
but I do know, you know, first of all, my husband always jokes. He's like, I don't know how you can make someone pick up dog poop and turn around and thank you to do that. Like, he's like, you, I don't understand how you just made me do that. And I thanked you. Like, I'm like, yes. yes. <laughs> it's anything. But, you know, I think there's a couple things in that. First of all, I have zero ego, right? So when I'm speaking to someone, it is not about me at all. Mm -hmm. um, generally, it is about the end product, right? I have a live show to put on. And there is no getting around that. We have got to do it. We've got to get it done. And life happens. I've had crazy experiences where, you know, um, literally had to get a dancer out of jail the night before a, sh a show. I've had to, you know, uh, one of my girls had to literally put her, her brother um, to rest, you know, two hours before a show. But she was the only one who could do that part. So, you know, it is amazingly crazy live events is just crazy mm -hmm. and of course part of my passion about just having to deliver that but yes everyone needs something different at the time but there's zero ego the second thing i know is that you can do it mm -hmm. right yeah. and the third thing is i can't do it for you so i <laughs> expect you to do it i expect you to do it and so i think when i start there people are like oh okay i i can do this and I have to do this, let's go. And that's kind of, you know, how it goes. But thank you for that compliment. I really yeah. sincerely appreciate that. Definitely. Yeah. So where can people find you? Like, where do you want people to start as far as, um, is it your website? Because I think your website is the same name as your Instagram. Yeah. So Instagram is my favorite. This is where I kind of live the most. Um, and that's just at love size me, mm -hmm. um, like the size of your jeans, love size me. <laughs> <laughs> and then the, uh, they never lie. And then um, also, yeah, my um, website is lovesizeme.com. So, yeah. It's so awesome. When I read that, of, as far as your website, I was like, that is so perfect because everyone isn't a three or a five or a six or an eight. It's their size and whatever it is that makes them the most comfortable. So, yeah, yeah exactly. it's, it's Different very important. goals that people hear your message, find you, because I know that there's so much that you have to give and I don't want you to drain your cup too much, but you know, I know your husband, you know, he fills that up, so. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and I love giving, yeah. you know, I mean, it is the most rewarding thing ever to be able to give because uh, I get so much more in return. It, it is really incredible to be able to change lives. You know, when I have women who are literally in tears telling me they've lost a hundred pounds, and their life is different, you know, um, or that, you know, they started working out and now their entire family, you know, they've inspired their husband and their kids and, you know, changed other people's lives. It's like that beautiful ripple effect that we always want, you know, and, and we have to focus on the positive. We have to right now, we have to find the good in each other. Um, and we have to bring that out for each other. That really has just got to happen right now. It's, it has to, and the, first place we've got to start with is ourselves. Yes. And I'm not going to say any more because I was perfect. So <laughs> just take that if you take nothing else from this conversation. And I love you. I hope you have a great oh, yeah. day. Thank you so much. <laughs> so good to see you. Thank you for having me. I love yeah. being here. All right. Mm -hmm. See you later. <laughs> Bye. Bye.